Hello friends! How's everybody doing today? Happy Friday! Alright, so let me move some of this stuff and then we'll get started. Say hello, let me know where you're watching from and then, oops, and then I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys the shopping link right here in the comments. Super excited to be live today. One, because I was sick as a dog on Wednesday. I had like the 24-hour flu. I took a COVID test. It was negative. I took another one. It was negative. So we're good. But um, feeling much better. Every time the kids always start school, our house, I'm sure this is like, I remember uh, this as kids too. Going back to school, all like the, the germs, you know. Um, so anywho feeling much better have a slight cough still so i apologize um but <laughs> good morning i am super excited to be live one because i'm starting to feel better i'm feeling like myself i hate feeling like i'm not on my a game not being able to go live with you guys um but two because while i was sick as a dog i got my addiction palette nine in the mail so excited to use it. So this is finally, I can show you guys what it looks like. Is that not the most stunning palette ever? And what's really cool about this palette is it was actually created to be able to use multi ways. So for example, these three colors go together. These three colors go together. These three colors go together. Oh, let's see if I can do this. These three colors go together. And then, let's see these three colors go together so diagonal so any which way you turn the palette those colors coincide together so they were created for um like inner crease outer but i'll show you guys how to do all of this so make sure to keep watching and we're going to use the addiction palette nine <coughs> excuse me i also got all of the brand new lipsticks in the creamy opulence line so we're gonna do a color swatch i'm gonna put them all on my lips so you guys can see what they all look like on super super excited for this i love that all the, they brought back all the old favorite colors and then they also came out with three new colors so we're gonna swatch all of those on our lips so make sure to save this live to your page by clicking the bottom left hand corner um, so that way when you get your products in the mail, you can do your, your makeup along with me, have my shine cloths for my lipstick swatch. So first things first is we're going to put on our face. So I'm going to do my liquid foundation. This is still the serum plus foundation. It's my favorite. I don't know if I'll ever use another foundation. <laughs> I say that and watch. I'm going to use a stick foundation tomorrow, but I have been love, 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 loving this coverage so much. One, because it's been like plumping my skin, like pulsating with hydration from the ingredients that are in this foundation. It's like a combination of skincare and foundation all in one, which is amazing for your skin. Two, the tr non-transferable amount is so good. Like if you have to wear a mask or anything, it's so nice that you can actually not worry about having to touch up your nose or your chin or whatever. So super, super in love still with this. You do want to make sure you shake it up really well. So something else you want to make sure you do with the new serum plus foundation is wear your primer. So I still do my pre-makeup routine, which is setting spray, primer, setting spray. So put on all of that before you put on your foundation and then we're going to go. All right. So Kabuki brush also by unique and we're going to go ahead and apply our foundation. I've been using the shade Eyelet. I really like that color for my skin. Um, it's a really good neutral shade and it's not as dark as taffeta. So it's a really good kind of a, like I said, transitional shade moving into fall and winter. Typically my winter shade is the shade Lace, uh, but I've been really loving this color. Another thing that I've noticed about the new foundation that's really awesome is how it almost Oxidize isn't the word I want to use, but I'm going to use it. It oxidizes to match your skin, which is so trippy and so cool. So many from Ohio. Ash is bringing all the Ohioans. If you guys didn't know, my assistant Ash is from Ohio. Where are you from, Ash? I forget. Cleveland? Ohio. Which I've been told everyone from Ohio hates that. Aww. You guys are so sweet that's 
look nasty. You are so sweet. Oh, I love you. Thanks for being here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and apply just a little bit more. Everyone is entitled to their opinion, even if it's wrong. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and keep applying the Kabuki brush with this product all over. I've been really loving just kind of dabbing this on all over just like this. And once you get the coverage on, then what I swear by is I'll go in with just like a teeny tiny bit amount on each side of my cheek, literally just like a barely a dot on each side. Then I'm going to go in with the blending buds. So I really swear by going over it with the blending buds because this is going to compress the makeup down in a place and make it look super smooth. So this is gonna be really important, especially if you have large pores or a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, really important step. <laughs> Go Browns. San Diego doesn't really have a football team anymore. LA stole them all. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and blend all this out. And then we're gonna move on to concealer, which I'm like so obsessed with this coverage because like I said, I've been having little sniffles. So finally I can wear the um, foundation. I have to touch it up if I have to blow my nose or anything. Yes, I have used this foundation on my mom. It looked so good. Her skin looks so buttery soft. I have that tutorial actually saved on my page here, Raya Hope at the top. Awesome, Melissa, uh, message me, I'll give you more info. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Skin Solution Concealer in the shade Organza, apply it in an upside down triangle, and then I have a little blemish, so I'll just pop a little bit on there. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Does this help with super dry under eyes as well? So for really dry under eyes, I would recommend two products. One, which is called the Refreshed Refresh Rose Water. I'm like, what's it called? Um, it's going to be under toners on my website. So you're going to apply that before you apply any makeup. And then I would also apply the Uology Eye Cream. So I apply both of those on my skin. And I have oily skin, and it's amazing. So if you have dry skin, it's going to be even more phenomenal. But the eye cream especially has caffeine and peptides in it. So that's going to be really healing and firming for your under eyes. So that's what I would recommend for uh, dry under eyes. Also, for dry skin, I would do the hydrating face primer as opposed to the mattifying face primer. Yes, absolutely. The blending buds are definitely a really big game changer. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and set our makeup. So I'm gonna take a blending bud and spritz it with my setting spray. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm gonna go in with my Touch Behold setting powder. This is a really good product, especially if you have any blemishes because it shrinks the appearance and it adds like a, like almost like a buffer on top. So it really helps to prevent any transferring or any, um, like any greasiness, any shininess to those areas. So really good if you have oily skin, live somewhere where it's really humid, work in a kitchen, anything like that. So you just kind of pop it on all over. You don't necessarily have to use it in a baking technique. You could apply it with a smaller brush and use it more of a dusting way, kind of like this, to set those areas too, which I have a tutorial on doing that on my mom, which again is saved on my page, Raya Hope. Okay, so go ahead and sweep away any excess. And now I'm going to go in with my pressed powder. Uh, you guys are so sweet. Uh, to apply the prime and finishing powder. No, I always use a brush kind of like this to apply her uh, setting powder, like a tapered brush. This one is from Morphe. It's a M438, 438 brush. And that's what I would do to apply the setting powder for dry skin. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply our pressed powder. And I'm gonna use the shade Taffeta for this. So this is gonna be huge game changer, especially if you have trouble with your makeup looking like it matches really well, or if you have trouble with your makeup staying in place all day long. This is gonna be really, really great for um, 
your skin because it not only makes everything match really well, but it also helps to hold everything in a place. It has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it too. So it's a really, really good soft, silky pressed powder. It's not drying, it's not cakey, not powdery, anything like that. And then for contour, we're gonna do the Beachfront Bronzer, which the shade Sunset is still in stock, so make sure you grab that ASAP. And we're gonna apply it with the Tapered Blusher Brush. Tap that all over, swirl in the cap, and then top of the ear towards the corner of the mouth. Kind of draw a little line there underneath the jawline. Same thing on the other side. Right in the hollow, underneath the jawline. And then I always tap and then swirl in the cap. And that's really important, especially when you're using a contour color or anything like this, because it's gonna separate the pigment. So when you put it on your skin, you're not getting all of that powder that's right on the top from when you tapped it. So, <laughs> excuse me, swirling like this is really gonna help to separate it evenly on top of the brush. If you ever feel like you're applying your contour or your blush and it looks like when you put it on initially, you have like a clump of it and then you have to blend it out. Try doing it that way. It's really helpful. Okay. So. A little fuzzy. Okay. Now that our, or our contour is on, now for blush, we're going to do the shade Sisterly, which is my favorite. Love this color so much. Again, even with blush, you can tap it in and then tap it into the mirror to again separate that pigment. The Morphe was a 438. Thank you so much. I know it feels so good to be putting on makeup, feeling put together. All right, so we just dust that on the highest parts of our cheeks, so apple and then highest part. And then for our highlight, we're gonna do the Touch of the Mode Luminizer. And we're gonna do the shade Pearly and pop this on the bridge and tip of our nose, Cupid's bow. Honestly, you could put this anywhere. You could put it on your uh, brow bone. You could put it on your chin. Just wherever you want that like glowiness, which is always super flattering, especially for family photos. Okay, so then our face is done. Kind of breezing through this because I really want to get to this palette. And then for our brows, we're going to do the brow sculpting pencil in the shade brown. I need you to do a zoom call to train me. <laughs> honestly watch these tutorials it really really helps on um on learning how to do the different techniques because in each tutorial kind of highlight something new or something different and I kind of go in detail on each tutorial about something different so make sure to have on your notifications here on Facebook so if you click the top right hand corner you're going to see those three little dots turn on the live notifications and also if you head to my page Raya Hope you can make me a favorite. So that way on Facebook, it'll alert you when I go live. But I have all of my videos saved here on Facebook and also on my YouTube channel, which my YouTube channel is Raya Hope. So I really encourage you guys, if you're having trouble with makeup application, spend some time. Like I used to watch makeup tutorials when I would walk. Like I would put it on and then I would walk on my treadmill. Um, that was always super helpful and that's how I learned how to do my makeup from watching these kind of tutorials And then I would save the ones that I really related to and I would watch them on the replay and do my makeup along with them But like I was saying I have all of my videos saved here on my page Raya Hope under videos And I try to label them as to what I'm doing in them So or like the makeup look type and then I also have them all saved on YouTube too Which again my name there is Raya Hope if you're not subscribed Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go in with our eyeliner in the shade Perfect. And, Melissa, you can go ahead and message me if you have any kind of questions like that. So go ahead and apply the eyeliner on the waterline, which is just this line behind your eyelashes. So practice with this makes better. I used to have to, like, hold up and apply just like this. So if that is the way that you have to do it, that's fine too. Um, and then you'll kind of graduate to kind of blinking onto it and then smooshing this along the lash line. But I love this eyeliner. It actually stays on. doesn't build up or tear up or give you raccoon eyes. And it's only 15 or $16. All 
I know the new brow pencil is so good. I love how fast it applies. The other one I would have to kind of like, I really liked the other one too for like how small it was, but I felt like it took me way longer to do my brows than it does now. And they turn out just as good, if not better, because the new brow pencil has argan oil, keratin, and biotin, and also vitamin E. So it helps your lat or your brows to grow and become like fluffier, healthier, and it has a gel-like texture in it. So it actually lays the brow hair down. So you don't have any like crazy flyaway brow hair. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do our Addiction Palette 9. I am so excited. Um, <coughs> excuse me, the new brow pencil in blonde I don't think is in stock, but the pomade and powder in blonde is. Okay, Addiction Palette 9. Super excited about this palette. It's the best palette for neutrals, but also for um, like date night, every day. So, so good. I'm so excited. And then if you missed when I was talking about this in the beginning, so this palette was actually designed to work no matter which way you turn it. So these three colors go together, these three, these three, these three, these three. It all is designed to be able to go hand in hand. So you don't have to be like, does this color match with this? Does this color match with that? No more of that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the fluffy crease brush, which I really promise you, you need this brush. It's the perfect amount of tapered and fluff. It really helps apply your eyeshadow softly so you don't have to be worried that you look like Mimi from Drew Carey show speaking of Ohio <laughs> so definitely make sure you grab this brush both of these are actually on sale in the October special with the special you get this palette or any palette you get the brush you get two lipstick options okay and then there's the upgraded version that has the free shipping both of these plus you get the eye primer and something else I forget <laughs> all right so now we're gonna go ahead and go in with this. Oh man, I've been dying to use this palette. I don't know what color to use first. Okay, so we're gonna do the shade Introvert because this color I've been dying to see on. Always swirl in the mirror, just like that. Tap off. And now when you're using new colors, I always recommend to use a lighter hand because you never know like how dark the colors will look on. Okay, so we're gonna apply Introvert, which first impression, obsessed. It has almost like a, it's a light brown color, but it has almost rosy tones to it, which is super pretty. Definitely reminds me of the shade Gingerly that we used to have. All right, so same thing over here. Apply in the crease. Seriously, you really do only need this one palette. I love that it has these neutral, pretty colors, and it's also a combination of matte colors and non-matte. <coughs> excuse me okay and then apply and then another tip too when you're doing your eyeshadow see how like that your brow ends see how it lines up with the corner of your eye that's kind of where you want to like move your brush just in this general area you want it to kind of cat eye up like that just like so. Okay, so now let's do this color, which is the shade Affable. I think that's how you say that. And we're gonna tap this. Ooh, love this color. It's a matte brown, like a true matte brown, which this color would look really pretty compacted all over the eyelid for like a smoky eye. Have to do that look next. And we're gonna work this in the outer corner Again, keeping in mind that like line, that cat eye. All right, and then over here, I like to first kind of tap this product on in the corner and then we'll work it along the lash line and along the crease on the outer side. Something else I really want to mention too, I love the size of this palette. It's not gigantic, it's not too small, it's perfect for your makeup case. Really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna take a liner brush and grab that same color. So 
So when I was up at corporate, we were in a meeting and one of the creators of like the different new products, she was actually wearing this and I couldn't stop staring at her eyes. And I was like, what eyeshadow are you wearing? And she was like, oh, I can't tell. And I was like, I really like it. So I hope that's ours. And she was like, she kind of hinted that it was. So I've been dying to get my hands on this. Her eyes look so pretty. So I'm going to, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm creating what uh, I look she was wearing. Fun fact for you. She had this really gorgeous depth to her eyes with this brown. And then I'm going to take the deluxe brush. Let me wipe off anything that was on there. And then I'm going to take this color, which is trustworthy. And press this in. Oh, gosh, this is so gorgeous. This is kind of like a cross between a gray, purple, and pink shades. But they're like so softly done. Oh man, isn't that so pretty? I really love how soft these colors are going on without feeling like I have to blend them out really. You ever do that you like apply it and then you're like oh, now i have to blend all this out these are applying like a dream oh my gosh so pretty so these colors are all from addiction palette nine which is on sale in the october special you also can buy this palette by itself too underneath eyes if you're not wanting to get it on sale which why wouldn't you um but it is on sale in the october special or by itself so now I'm taking, what was the color again? Trustworthy. And I'm using the deluxe brush to really press this on. Corner of the eye. And then up. Gosh, this color is so stunning. And then I'm taking this color right here, which is introverted, which is going to be, I already know, my favorite. I love a good soft neutral. My word, this is so gorgeous. Now we're gonna take the blending brush and I always just like to sweep this along the outer edge and this will just soften up any, any of those edges because you want everything to look really soft and melted. You guys, this is the palette to get. I am so in love, I'm sold. So, so pretty, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, uh, let's set her makeup and do her lashes. Um, I'm going to be using this palette all month long. So make sure you get it. So then when you have yours, you can save this, save these tutorials and do your makeup along with me. Because we're going to do all kinds of different combinations with these colors. I'm so excited. So nine colors, so many different combinations are possible with it. Really, really excited. All right, so we're going to make sure that we set our makeup, which is going to be really important because it takes away that makeupy look, that powdery look, holds everything together. And now let's do our lashes because we're going to do our lipsticks. And I'm going to swatch all six. I'm going to put them on, all six. All right, so first things first is lash primer, of course bottom of the lash all the way up and I did want to mention that Unique is also doing another sale they're just giving all the good stuff to you guys um the new sale is on the eye essential bundle I'll go ahead and write what that deal is in the comments but it's only while supplies last only until for this month but it also now contains the lash primer or the esteem lash serum so you can get both of these the lash primer and the Twisted Mascara. So if you're looking for all things eyes, grab the Eye Essential Bundle and then grab the October Special. So that way you get your palette, you get your mascara, you get your lash primer, you get your eyeliner, and two lip products. So super banging deal. Only for this month though are they doing that upgraded Eye Essential Bundle. So the Eye Essential Bundle comes with any mascara Lash primer or a steam lash serum, which is the serum that makes your lashes grow. 
an eyeliner, and a liquid eyeshadow. Okay, so going in with the Twisted Mascara Base Lash all the way up. I love getting those bundles because it just makes it so easy. You don't have to think about, oh, do these products go together? It makes it simple. But if you guys need any help with your products or if you're not sure what color you are in the foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, anything, just comment color match down below and I will private message you. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're so sweet. All right, so now we're going to take the smaller wand and apply but really when you put mascara on I feel like it really makes the eye look now I love this eyeshadow look even more it's so pretty and I like that it's not too loud either okay twisted mascara on girl Robin if you want long lashes get the esteem lash serum and it's on sale now in the eye essential bundle it's only like $26 by itself. You want to put it on every night before bed. I've been doing that for like two years now. And it's so easy. You just put it on the backside of your lashes. You go to bed. You wake up in the morning. You rinse it off. That's what I do with my lashes. And it doesn't, doesn't hurt that I also use these two products. The Twisted Mascara also has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. So this also helps your lashes grow. The Lash Primer also... Um, has like a hydrating ingredient in it that helps to strengthen your lashes so your um, your shed cycle isn't as quick as it normally is so it makes your lashes look fuller longer so a steam lash serum twisted mascara lash primer you will thank me later i promise you your lashes will be like oh so good yeah it's so pretty <coughs> excuse me okay so now let's swatch some lipsticks all right, so I'm going to end with my favorite. So let's do, let's go darker to lighter. This might be a bad choice, but hopefully it works out in my favor. Okay, so we're going to go in first with this color, Mischievous. I feel like this color is very appropriate with the name. It's first impression, it looks brown. So we'll see what this looks like on. Oh, it looks brown. All right, so... This is the color Mischievous. My high school emo self would love this. <laughs> All right, so that actually is not as, I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this color, I was like, brown, really, brown, <laughs> but on, it's kind of fun. It's very sultry. You know what I would do? Hold on. Hold up. Let me find it. Oh, yeah. Minted. Lighten it up a little. That's kind of fun. Okay, hold on. Let's take our our selfies. Ah. Oh my gosh, so many. I don't know why I can't swipe away the comments. Okay, whatever. All right. So that was the shade Mischievous. Good fall color. Might not be for everybody, but this is your jam. Have at it. I'm going to use my shine cloths, which if you don't have these yet, highly recommend. They're only 20 bucks or like $21 and they remove all your makeup. That's what I use every night. And look, it literally just melts off your makeup. All right. Like I said, not the color for everybody, but a really fun fall color. Okay. So that was mischievous. And then now let's do this color. This is Drop Dead is the color. So first impression when I looked at it, I was like, ooh, this is kind of like a, um, like a dark red. 
And now putting it on, it's more berry. Um, for my eyes, I'm wearing the Addiction Palette 9. Okay, so this is a super perfect fall red. It's not a... Um, reds are weird. <laughs> so I feel like with reds, you have like a... Um, like a blue undertone red, and then you have like an orange undertone red, and then you have a brown undertone red. This is a brown undertone red, so perfect for fall. We don't have a color like this in our whole line, so that's really fun. I really like that. I feel like it really like accentuates your, your face. Super good. Yeah, so the blue undertone red, if you like that, I would get the shade uh, Wealthy. So our blue undertone red is red. I don't even think we have an orange undertone red anymore. I know we have the lip liner in Popular, which is an uh, orange undertone. But that one, this is really fun. Really good fall red. All right, so that was the color Drop Dead. All right, let's wipe this off. Oh, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. But you didn't miss anything. I was just wiping off that drop dead color. All right. And now. <coughs> excuse me. All right. Am I unfrozen for you guys? I should be. Okay, so that was drop dead. Haven't done anything yet. Was waiting for you guys to get here or like to be unfrozen. Let me know when I'm unfroze and we'll keep going. All right, next color we're going to do is the shade Fab. So this Fab color, again, another really fun fall color. This looks very berry, very purpley berry on or like visually, but we're going to see what this looks like on. Oh, yeah, this is so pretty. So this is a total berry color. Ooh, I really like this one. So again, this one is called Fab. It's like a purpley pink. Very, very fun for fall. Ooh, I love super fun. Do you guys like this color? I feel like this one would be really pretty too if you did. Hold on, let me wipe off. Who is that? Oh my gosh, how fun is that? I did minted on top, which like lightens it up into like a lighter purpley pink. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this color. This one's really, really fun. Like a fun color, but not like loud, you know? Okay, so now that again was a shade Fab. Use our shine cloth to remove. I want to make sure I remove it all so it doesn't alter the other colors. All right, so now let's do the shade Loaded, which is an old favorite, but this is the new formula. All right, this is like the same exact color as my lips, which I love. I love when you can wear a lipstick that doesn't really look like you're wearing lipstick. So this is the color Loaded, which is kind of like a cross between like a pink, red, and a nude, like all together. So Loaded is this color. I really like how soft this is. I do want to mention too, these are so creamy. They're so creamy without being like, uh, 
like a high gloss or anything. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, so this is the shade Loaded. Super, super pretty. Okay. My lips are going to be so plump from being exfoliated. <laughs> All right, so now let's do the shade Affluent, which again, another old favorite. And this one is a little bit lighter than Loaded. This one is so pretty. This one is gonna be more of your pink nude. So this is the shade Affluent. This has been always the color that looks good on everybody. With the old formula, it was the same thing. It looked good on everybody no matter what. And it's so pretty. It's like such a happy medium of like nude and pink. And it's so soft on your lips. Isn't that pretty? The shade Affluent, so good. All right, and now let's remove this and we're gonna do my favorite color. Yeah, totally. Sublime but lighter. And like more of like a glossy finish, which is nice. Okay, but I'm going to use a lip liner for this one. lip liner on and now <clears throat> we're gonna do the lipstick last one in the shade well to do which is my favorite oh my gosh so good this reminds me of the mac lipstick in the shade strip down Ugh, oh, so, my lips are so plump from being exfoliated for the last few minutes, but how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, so gorge. I love this color. So, impression versus old formula and new formula, because I was very curious at how they were going to do that. The new formula is not as, like, creamy, but in, like, a good way. These are super soft, buttery, without feeling like I have anything on my lips. Like the old formula definitely felt like you had lipstick on where you're like, like it was a lot. But this doesn't feel like I have anything on my lips. And I like that they're super creamy without being like a high gloss, you know? It's a super old lip liner that's not in stock anymore, but super, super pretty. I love these. So all of these are available in the October special. You get to pick two with the October special. Plus you get the Addiction Palette 9, which I'm wearing. Which I'm wearing the colors Introverted, Trustworthy, and Affable. Hopefully I said that right. But super gorgeous. Love, love, love this makeup look. So make sure to get two lipsticks plus the Addiction Palette 9 in the October special. And let me know what colors you get. And if you don't know what color you should get or if you need help picking out your foundation or anything, just comment color match down below and I'll private message you and help you pick your colors. But I love you guys. I'll see you in a second. I'm going to pop back on to do my hair with you guys. So I'll see you in a minute. Bye.